Some dude, I think he's old, Oldsmobile man, something. Got a video. He's asking me about vacuum lines. It's gonna take a picture, but this is just easier. I guess my means right side. This is right side, but it's probably meaning passenger side. But let's start on your driver's side. This one, this vacuum hose right here, that's for your EGR. That's obviously your brake booster. That's just for, goes to the EGR solenoid, which is back there. And then there is nothing else on that side. This side, you have this one over here with the nylon tubing. 96 is different. This is 95. But that's the EVAP for the gas tank. That nylon tube goes to your gas tank. And then you have another tube that goes under the throttle body. A small one, which is under here. If you can see, this one goes under the throttle body, which is kind of tucked right in there. That's one of the other hoses. That's the one that's feeding it in from that solenoid. When that solenoid opens, this is just your PCB, fresh air, that big fat one. It runs back over there. Then you get the two ones in the back. It doesn't matter which way they go. The top one, the way I had it, is for my heater. And you see the check valve on it? That's what stops the vacuum from... Is this getting too... You see that check valve? That just stops the vacuum from going back. They actually go bad, those check valves. I think it's bad on the ghetto wagon. That wide open throttle, the heat flaps, they, uh, they move. Probably got a bad check valve. And or under the dash, something is bad. And the bottom one that is goes to your fuel pressure regulator, and there is the other end of it back there. That's this one assembly. You kind of see it. That end. So that's the only thing you really have on that side. Fuel pressure regulator goes into there. It's very important. And then the top one is for the heater. And then that just goes through the harness, that little tube, and somehow it goes underneath the dash. That can break as well. And that's it. There's nothing else there. And then you got the throttle body hose and everything. The coolant, but I bypassed that. Used to have a heated throttle body, no more. Gone. And then, yeah, Opti thing. Isn't that Opti thing? No, Opti thing picks up vacuum from over there. Right. Yeah, that's it. No, shitty video, but maybe they'll figure it out. There's two on that side. HVAC. Vacuum and the fuel pressure regulator. You got your EVAP, big fat thing, EVAP, and uh, goes into the throttle body on the other side. And the fresh air, one thing you got, and then on this side is the EGR feed. If you still have an EGR valve, my EGR valve breaks, that is going bye bye, and that's the only thing you got. Yeah, this POS starts better with these crappy multi-tech injectors that do leak. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I might talk to South Bay. Maybe they'll try to clean these. That'll be the deal. Woohoo! So that's the deal with that. Yeah, check valve. Um, on this, I should really find one. But I don't care about cars anymore. They're not my shit anyway. And those are the other injectors over here. The gray ones. Blue with the Ford logo. These flow... See, now he actually changed it, this dude, in his description. Now he says they're like flow 25.2 like or something, because that's what everyone really came up with. But they flowed these things. It's not 24 pounds, it's like 25. And it screws it up. It flows too much. It flows like a pound more. And it messes it up. Alright, what else is going on? Nothing. Upload this video easier than a picture. Oh, and that hose too, it runs somehow into the fender. It runs somehow over here and over there. It runs to the fender of your EVAP canisters in front of this front wheel. And the 96 EVAP canister is better than the 94 or 95. It has a better filter on it. This for whatever, if you can still even get it. I actually had a 96 canister while well, I bought it for someone and then they were going to send it to someone else because they live in another country and they were visiting in Florida and like the trailer park they were staying in it was like an RV park or something and then the canister gets stolen it was on the east coast of Florida it gets stolen so they wound up with nothing that was cool <laughs> yeah Florida mail service here sucks 
<sighs> so that's to do with that. And someone else asked me about taillights and headlights. It's the same dude on eBay that's selling the spindles. Um, you search that number, you probably come up with the ad. What is that? What's that number? Just punch it on eBay, you'll see the same seller. The reason only $58. 1801-60023. Or two four same seller you put that in on search and you'll see his other listings he has headlights that don't have the stripe because they're for caprices you see these got the stripe they painted them that's the only difference I got these brand new in my hoard I have two brand new ones and um yeah he has the complete assembly I think with and without the bracket with the bracket it's 82 bucks I might get a pair for him from him, but he keeps sending me stress crack taillights, dude. I don't know what the hell the freaking deal is. So that's the deal with that. As we go through Cramp Condo Garage, this place sucks. And back to playing with tools. There's my Torque Plus. We got this today. Now we're just rambling. Torques Plus. That's what we had to in the early in the morning. Early in the morning, I'll bit him in a second. Torques Plus is different. 1999 to present a lot of vehicles use Torx Plus didn't want to buy a cheap set so we get snap off because why not brand new brand new it was $414 list I did not even pay half of that but uh -huh, yeah crazy they were on it like hotcakes and that's standard Torx fancy snap on rules 